Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be filming a hair video for the first time in a very long time. Um, a lot of you guys ask for hair videos. I think that's because I have like a whole string of them where I was, you know, at a time in my life when I was into experimenting and changing my hair color, tone, whatever. And um, I kind of just grew out of that a bit, but today I'm actually going to try. And I say try because I am not a professional. Um, to kind of just touch up my hair a little bit at home. I'm super poor right now, like actually negative money. What I'm going to attempt to do is actually just paint on a couple of pieces kind of near the front and where I feel like just needs a little bit of freshening up. Um, just because I do have a decent amount of like rootage growing in. So what you're gonna need, some powder bleach. This is by the brand Clairol. This is the de-dusted extra strength powder lightener. You're also gonna need 20 volume developers. So I would say that if your hair is darker than mine, you're probably gonna need something stronger than 20 volume. But if you're my shade or lighter, 20 volume should be just enough. You're gonna need like a tint brush like this. I prefer one with like a sharp, thing on the end so I can easily pull out sections. And then after we're done, uh, depending on how it looks, I'm probably going to put a color on top. So I picked up this Age Beautiful uh, Top Coat Toner in the shade Beige Blonde. This is kind of a new product that I got at Sally's. Um, I actually got all of this stuff at Sally's. And I'm gonna be putting this on with a little bit of the corresponding uh, 20 volume developer. You can also use 10 volume developer with this if you want a little bit more color deposit and less damage, but we'll get into that later. So I've already actually mixed up my bleach. Um, it's looking a little bit runny right now. I hope that's okay. I kind of just eyeballed it because it doesn't say <laughs> actually what measurements uh, on here, but I'm pretty sure it should be one part powder bleach to two parts developer. I could be wrong. Don't do what I do. Do your own research. And I also have like a bunch of these like little mini foils that I might use. These are by the brand Ion that I also got at Sally's. And I'm going to try to use them even though I haven't had much luck using them in the past. I'm just not very coordinated when I'm looking in a mirror. And you should probably use gloves. I just don't have any, so I'm gonna try not to get it on my fingers. I end up taking a little bit in the front. So I'm gonna section off. I'm not gonna get like a lot of hair this way. I'm gonna make it pretty shallow and actually get more of it going this way. So I want to make a line from here to here. So like that, really skinny, but kind of going down like that. So that's gonna be my First section, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take my piece of foil, stick that as high up as I can. I'm not getting too much on the brush just because I'm really only going to be painting the dark pieces at the top here. I don't need to bring it down any further, so fold this on itself. Okay, time for the next piece. I don't know, maybe like this little piece, another little one from over there. Now these little pieces, I'm kind of doing the whole thing. So I'm just folding that up on itself and painting the whole piece just because those pieces just happen to be a little bit uh, darker.
I kind of want to do right here. wanted to do just a couple pieces down here. I'm gonna pin the rest of my hair back and just focus on these pieces right here. And you're gonna want to coat both sides of that since you're not, you know, pressing up against something. I find holding the brush on an angle and really going in there helps. I'm just gonna like wrap these in tin foil just because harboring the heat will help a little bit with the darker pieces. Uh, so now I'm gonna wait probably like 20 to 25 minutes, kind of just checking on it every 510 and I'll be back. All right, I'm going to apply some heat to the ones down here um, just to help them catch up a little bit. Hey guys, I've already pulled out some of the foils just because I felt like they were done and didn't really need any more time. When you kind of take it out of the foil, you know, it starts to dry out and it won't really process much more. Um, these ones are still looking pretty dark, so I've been applying heat to them periodically. And this one, I mean, let's check on it. Yeah, that one looks pretty good too. Okay, so I'm gonna wait like five more minutes. I'm gonna take out these guys and then I'm going to shower it out. Okay, let's take this off. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Looks good, I think. Okay, now time for the toner that I'm gonna use. If you don't have this exact one, you can pretty much use um, any like light blonde hair color. I prefer demi permanence. This one happens to say permanent, but uh, I prefer demi permanence. Um, you can also use the Wella toners that I've talked about a lot on my channel, but you have to make sure if you're using the Wella toners that your hair has to be like this color yellow. It can't be like gold or orange or anything like that. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna brush my hair out. I probably could have gone for like one kind of in between here, but I can always add more later. I'm mixing up my toner and I'm just shaking it up. This was a one to one ratio. So I applied a full tube of this, which is two ounces. And then I applied another two ounces of this little 20 volume developer. And I like applying toner in a squeezy tube um, just because it's easier to get all of my ends, which are mostly solidly blonde. Uh, however, I'm going to be like kind of using my finger to get like these smaller pieces on top because I actually don't want to get this toner on my natural color or my darker pieces because it could lift it a little bit, especially when you're using 20 volume developer and I don't want my natural hair color, my natural like light brown, dark blonde to become like a slight orange tinge. Okay, so now for the bottoms of my hair, I'm just gonna kind of apply everywhere and just work it in with my fingers. Okay, I just rinsed the toner out and I feel like I forgot to say how long I was keeping it in, um, but I kept it in for maybe like six or seven minutes. Like I'm pretty sure the directions say to leave it on longer than that, but I don't know, my hair is pretty light, so it doesn't tend to take a lot of time. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna blow dry my hair and we'll see if I can actually go to work tomorrow. Not too bad, actually. I find, you know, when I'm like facing front on, like it looks really good. I'm really glad that I did some like bigger pieces in the front. I feel like it really brightens up my hair from the side. It's a little, a little chunky and I'll probably try and take 
uh, really, really tiny pieces kind of right here in the center just because I do find that these two are probably a little bit too thick and also symmetrical. Okay, so my second step, which I could have done in the first step, but I wasn't really sure how it turned out or if I even needed to do this. So I just did a couple tiny pieces on the very, very top, just like one foil on each side. So I just used the powder bleach that I used on the rest of my hair and 20 volume developer as usual. And I let that sit for about 20 minutes on there. So I'm gonna pull these out. You can see really tiny pieces of hair. So now I'm gonna rinse these and I'll probably put a little bit of purple shampoo on them. But again, because they are um, on the top of my head, they're a little bit lighter. They might not even need any of the toner. Okay, so here is the final result. All I had to do was put a little bit of purple shampoo in it. Not too shabby. Um, is it perfect? Hell no. Could I have done things differently and better? Yes. Could a professional have done a lot better? Yes. Did I have the money to do that? No. Was this free because I had all the stuff left over from the last time I did my hair? Yes. So uh, yeah, moral of the story is doing your hair yourself can be uh, very difficult and frustrating and annoying. <laughs> um, but some of us just don't have the money to get it done professionally. You know, it's gonna do me until I have the money to go to a salon, you know, get it perfected and get more done, you know, all over. It's kind of a chunky look, which I actually really enjoy. I feel like that style is coming in again. Uh, Ginger Spice, I am coming for your style. Yeah, please don't judge me too harshly. Harshly, I am not a professional. You know, don't follow my, you know, don't follow my advice unless you're totally confident. Because, you know, when you're doing your hair yourself, you're gonna have to, you know, go through a couple rounds of perfecting and fixing, you know, because we're not professionals, you know, we don't know what we're doing the first time. <laughs> yeah, go to professional if you can afford it. And if you can't, you know, try your hardest and have your expectations low. <laughs> I think my next step will be just to kind of fix this blunt piece right here in the front, but honestly, I am done for today. <laughs> this took pretty much all day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, yada, yada, yada. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,